Howdy, howdy. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful out here. The garden has come a long way in the last couple of weeks since you guys have been out here last. We've harvested some zucchini, some strawberries, some basil, some lettuce, tons of lettuce. I mean, every day we're coming out here and getting lots of lettuce and having fresh salads. It is just beautiful. Last night, I saw this on TikTok, okay? Don't judge me for getting my info from TikTok because that's where McKenna gets all her information. You can use the male blossoms from the zucchini plants and actually eat them. Yeah, so we made some stuffed blossoms last night. We stuffed them with ricotta and mozzarella and some basil and air fried them with McKenna's new air fryer. They were really, really good. So don't knock it till you try it. They kind of taste like something kind of like zucchini or eggplant, but they were they were pretty good. We just dipped them in, you know, you can dip them in your favorite marinara sauce, and they taste really, really good. It's nice sitting out here and enjoying nature and enjoying my vegetables. I'm out here just whispering to them, you know. Soon the the zinnias will be blossoming. They're right here. You can see the zinnias going to be blossoming soon. Sunflower is about as tall as I am. Next couple days are supposed to be off and on thunderstorms. Supposed to thunderstorm all day yesterday. Um, I ended up, you can see back there, I ended up finally getting some of the deck done. As you can tell from the title of this video we have some fun stuff planned today we're gonna put up the rooftop tent on the forerunner I have a couple of friends coming over Brittany and Bradley are gonna come over and help us Bradley needs to help me lift the rooftop tent onto the the roof because it is heavy we'll do a whole unboxing of the rooftop tent I'll go every, over everything in detail, and we will go ahead and install it on top of the Forerunner. The plan is to keep the rooftop tent on the Forerunner, you know, during the summer and fall period, the camping season. Keep it on there because it will, you know, it weighs the Forerunner down. The Forerunner already has so much weight on it, so. We'll keep it on during the camping season, but then we'll take it off so we don't run her um, the gas mileage up so much. Y'all stay tuned with us today, and we'll we'll have some fun. First of all, look at this zucchini. Holy shit. That's a big zucchini. <sighs> this weekend was a very, very eventful weekend. I uh, spent a lot of time with friends and family, and me and McKenna both had a lot of time off of work and just to enjoy life. It's kind of nice, you know, just enjoying life instead of working every damn day of your life. My sister graduated high school last weekend, which was very bittersweet. She's going to be going off to college soon. She is going to the same college that I went to, which actually means a lot to me. She's going to pursue a degree in early childhood education. Because she graduated, we had lots of family members that came down to visit so you know most of my family is from Ohio so they flew all the way down here or drove all the way down here to South Carolina to spend time with Taylor and my sister my uncle Matt came to spend a night with us got to go out to lunch or go out to breakfast with my grandpa and on Saturday 
I actually ran a beer lay. This was the second time I've ran this race. I try to run at least one race a month, but this race that I chose to run this month um, is called Cottonmouth Beer Lay, and I've ran it before, but basically it's an eight-mile race, a two-mile loop, so you run four laps, but the catch is every two miles you have to drink a beer so you drink a beer at the start and then you drink a beer every two miles for a total of eight miles you get pretty toasted by the end of the race <laughs> catch back up with you guys when we get started with this uh, unboxing of the uh, rooftop tent. Eden wants to say hi. Hey baby. Say hi to the camera. Look Eden. Look. Look. Say hi. <laughs> say hey. Good morning. Hi. The man, the myth, the legend has arrived. Bradley. Never, never acted in front of a camera before. <laughs> It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really weird yeah. talking to yourself. <laughs> He's lying, though. He's also a YouTuber. I mean, this doesn't matter, but uh, this is Scobo has, you know, tons more subscribers than I do, so it doesn't even matter that I shout him out. But All that's right. numbers and numbers. He does the video game stuff. Mm -hmm. He likes it. He's good at it. We're Funny guy. We're Funny dorks. guy. So we're out here, and this is Brittany back here. This wonderful lady. We are gonna go ahead and get this unboxing going on, and. Uh, Try to install this thing. Riley said earlier, it's all going to go as planned. There's going to be no mishaps. Really doubt that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I was up here on the roof earlier, and it is scorching. Bradley, feel this. Feel hot. This is oh, yeah. fucking hot as hell. Hot as hell. Oh, so that's going to be a struggle. The radar says it's supposed to rain in a few hours. I'd, I'd really doubt that. All right. So this is the front runner. Rooftop tent. This is the only rooftop tent that they actually sell on their website. It is marketing for twelve hundred and nine dollars right now. Um, they do have a payment plan on there, um, but it pretty much comes with you know the tent, a fly sheet, a mattress, tent cover, the ladder, which is the small box on top, a rod kit, a mounting stud kit, the rooftop tent cover. When I was watching some videos, some reviews online on YouTube, it said that there's a few different mounting options in the box, so we will uh, take a look and see what's going to be best. I chose this rooftop tent because it's the same brand as the roof rack that I already had, that already came on the Forerunner, so hopefully it mounts and um, we won't have any trouble getting it up there. Um, but I have not unboxed the tent yet, that's why I got Bradley here, he's going to help me, it's a little heavy. He's got his knife, even though we're not supposed to cut the box. Also, this tent is one of the lowest profile and widest on the market. I think it says here how much it actually weighs. You don't do that European kilogram crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Bradley. Twenty pounds. It is ninety-three pounds. There we go. Um, That's small it? child. Yeah. No way. That's what it says. It says 93 pounds. I live dogs bigger than that. That's not 93 pounds. And it says it's got a That's low wrong. rating of 600 pounds. That's not 93 Good job. So we can all fit in it, really. Maybe 193 pounds. No, it's 93 pounds. But what's confusing is the shipping um, spec said that it was like 200 pounds. So I'm a buck 30. What are you? A buck 50? A buck 60? Yeah. Okay, so we're approaching 300 bucks. We could all fit in there, dude. I yeah. can lift this thing like literally above my knees. We could, we could all fit in there and have room for maybe a, one or two dogs. Hell yeah. Uh, it looks like there's a box inside of a box, but let's just go ahead. Let me get some scissors. I'll be back. Got my tools. Both sides here. Who's the Black's ghost? Tell me what show that's from. Five dollars to whoever can. You can't Google it. Come on. The box ghost. From an old, old cartoon. Just watch as a kid. Oh, is it? 
Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. So, it looks like this may be the bottom. I see some holes here for some kind of mounting. It has plastic on it right now. That's why it kind of looks like that. Um, I'll leave that on for now. But yeah, this looks like the bottom, if I had to say so. We may be able to fold it out. This is the bottom. Found the instructions. Oh, so. The straps were on top here. So I think it's the top. And then this unfolds. So let's go ahead and lift it up and see what it looks like. Alright. And that's what it looks like unfolded. Pretty cool. Bradley's ready to hop inside and go camping. What do you think? You think he said it's too damn hot. You think in there? Maybe. <laughs> oh, nice. I know, I don't know. So how what did, happened to like, it? Where's the rest of it? I know, it's not even like it was cut in half. It's uh, gone. Disappeared. Alright, so these are our mounting rails. That's what these are in this package. And then I think we have two different types of mounting hardware here. Let's figure that out in a second. But yeah, that's pretty much all that it comes with. It comes with a little bag for all your hardware. That's what all this came in. And then your mounting rails in the tent itself. I don't think there's anything else in the box. Front runner, please sponsor us. These are rods that go up on here to keep the, uh, the rain cover open. And then inside, you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a mattress in there. Oh. I didn't know it came with the mattress. That looks like a mouse or something got to it. That itty bitty bit, right? Where is it? There it is. I don't know. This rip right here just looks like tension got it and it just split. Hmm. Well, so we used the knives to pop the tags off the box. That's it. And we ripped it open caveman style the rest of the way. So that shouldn't have happened. So we're pretty confident that isn't because of us. Yeah, but it's got a rip here, rip there, a rip down here. So three rips. Yeah. I'm sure it's fixable. I mean, yeah, it's, we're not sitting It's definitely there. too much to send it back because we don't have a box now either. Kind of have to tear the box apart to. You could maybe take a picture of it and send it in to customer service and see if they would do anything reimbursement wise. Yeah. It'd be worth a shot. Good idea. Good idea. Brittany? Good idea. We might have video proof of where you cut it open. <laughs> we do have video proof. We videoed the whole process. Well, maybe it was our fault. I guess we'll know. When we no, it back. wasn't our fault. Yeah, we used our our, our hands to open it up. Okay, so we pretty much just got. This. Oh, I found the other. Oh, look at there. Yeah, All right. I knew it all go as planned. So there is, there's a zipper that attaches to the outside to put the cover on. But this is nice. This is a really nice cover. It's like a, it feels like a, Alright, well, there's your unboxing. Didn't go as planned, but, you know, that's just how things are sometimes. So, um, we're gonna, you know, figure out how we're gonna fix this, this hole. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I, I'm sure we can find some way to fix it, glue it back together or something. Yeah. I'm patching your blue jeans. Yeah. That's cute. All right. So we're about to mount the ladder to the top side of the rooftop tent. We have these hinges here that mount to pre-drilled holes 
that are already in the tent. I think we have to take the bolts like Bradley's doing now and push them up through those holes so that we can mount them. And this is so that the ladder is able to hinge out when we unfold the tent. So, so these rails right here on the bottom, these silver pieces, mount perpendicular to the roof rack. So it's running that way, perpendicular. Here's your math lesson for the day. These little nuts have to slide in this groove all the way down until you get to that hole, and then the bolt will slide through, and the tension of the bolt will pull it the lock nut tight. Pain in the ass. Yeah, it is. They slide in through the, um, the flooring in here, so you actually have to get in here and slide the bolts through, and then they'll come out the other end. We were having trouble at first because we couldn't understand how the heck the the actual uh, the nut got in there because we couldn't fit it in this little gap. So you actually have to slide it through here, and uh, don't put the uh, bolt through yet. You just slide it all the way to the hole, and booyah. <clears throat> Allow for a demonstration. And you can take your bolt and just slide it there. There it is. And then you're going to shoot it through the other side, through the tent, floor, into the nut, tighten it. So that'd be very poor video and audio quality, but basically. These brackets here slide, those rails slide into these, I guess, makeshift brackets. So they slide through there. And we already got one of them on, and we slid it up here so that we can slide it to the front. Now we're putting the last set on so we can slide them onto these ones. And then we will tighten them down with the lock nuts that are underneath. You can see, and here, you can see the lock nuts back there. Ah, oh, you know what I thought about? What's up? You use your summer for lock, McKenna. That's the only thing I didn't think about until just now. Oh, it wouldn't be bad because we could just slide it back and take these mounts that we're putting on the front and put them on the back. So you still got the decision right now. You know what I mean? But then it would open up kind of to the back of your. Uh, I need my sunroof. So, so you want to put it on the back. But yeah. then, okay. if you ever um, wanted to load luggage, you have to put luggage in front of here. I mean, we should never have that problem because we'll just be able to put all of our luggage in the back seat. It's not like we have kids. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. We'll just put it on the back. All I know is I need my sunroof. That was like. That was a must have for this car. You're getting scared. Did you catch me if I fall? Yeah. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this is the. Oh! <laughs> That's so cool. There's like a skylight too? Yep. Wow. Got windows all around. Oh my gosh, there's so many windows. That's cool. Well, that definitely helps with the breeze. Yeah. It's not that bad since every every which way can open. Holy moly. This is so cool. Still have to put the rain canopy over it, but she looks good. Ooh. I want to thank my awesome helpers. <laughs> He's got a monkey wrench. All right, we did it. Uh, overall, pretty impressed. There was a few um, problems we ran into with the rips, just mounting it and stuff. It's It was a little harder than I thought it was going to be, but we got it done. I think McKenna likes it a lot. You like it, baby? All right.
Yeah. Bradley, thanks for your help, man. I appreciate it. What we here for? It's freaking hot. We're all roasting out here. You sweating? Yeah. Nah, you ain't sweating. You didn't do nothing. Excuse me? She just sat there. Look. I did. That's what she did the whole time. Just like that. Nothing. Thank you, babe. Nothing. Ah!